Welcome back to yet another Henna's Bricks YouTube video. Today we're looking at the Star Wars layout because I've got some gaps to fill, such as up here in Utrupal and also up here in the episode 2 shelf. An August the 1st release set I did pre order was Obi Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter because I thought it looks amazing, especially with the Kamino and minifigure. And also, I don't actually have this ship in my Star Wars collection yet, so it's an awesome addition. Another set that I got is the ATTE Walker, of course, because it comes with so many amazing minifigures, and it's just a set that we've always needed. It's got a Phase 2 Cody. I mean, I already have one of these, but I think the ATT here looks much better than the one before. Sort of like better interior space, better design. I went over this all in a previous video, as you can see all of the, all of the 212 clone troopers there. And it's an amazing set, so I can't miss out on this. So I ordered the set and I've been waiting a while now, I decided to look underneath the table. Is that Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfire? No way! I'm gonna have to grab that out right now. Wow, I didn't realise this arrived, it's, it's amazing. Anyway, it comes with three minifigures, R4, P17, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Tom Wei. And on the back of the box, you can see some more features. Very cool. Now time for a closer look at the ship itself. I think the design looks really nice and sleek. I mean, there is a bit of a gap between the main body and the wing, but that doesn't really matter. And they've got the satellite dish that you can put on the side and take off when it's flying. And also there's a storage space in the middle. So you can put the droid's body in there when it's not needed on the outside. And then you can also pop back on. So it's quite useful to have that area, so it keeps the sleekness of the design on the wing. Also, the set obviously comes with Obi-Wan Kenobi. So he's got the pilot face and also the visible confusion face um, with the hood. And it looks a really awesome minifigure. We also have Tom Way, the Kaminoan, so new head mold with the long neck. Love the detailing on this. And it looks really awesome. I mean, the neck could be longer, but for Lego, it's great. So some features included in Obon Kenobi Starfighter are that the cockpit opens up. You can see nice detailing there. I like the seat. I think it looks really nice. Also space for his lightsaber and another thing underneath. And the landing gear can fold up so it looks very sleek when it's flying. And also you can, not probably not meant to, but you can lift off the stud shooters to make it look better. But I think I'll leave mine on there because it looks good. So that is Obi-Wan Kenobi Starfighter. I would definitely recommend the set. Minifigures are awesome, and it's not actually too expensive for what you're getting. And I know it's available everywhere, so I would definitely recommend it. And it's a really great set. Now you already know what's coming next. It's the ATTE. Yes. Yes. Let's have a look. Here is a closer look at the box. So you can see the awesome ATTE there. And the range of minifigures, Commander Cody. Uh, 212 clone trooper, and another 212 clone trooper, and another 212 clone trooper, and a 212 clone gunner, and three battle droids. There's a spider droid there, and some of the play features like the swivel turret, the handle, the cockpit that opens, and the interior space. All right, enough talking. It is time to build the ATTE. There we go. Look at that amazing set. Let's dive straight in and look at the minifigures included in this set. First up, we have Phase 2 Commander Cody. Some awesome printing on the back and the front. I like the orange arms as well. And as you can see, the visor lifts up, but it looks much better when it's down, obviously. And he also has his custom face print. And here is the 212th Legion Trooper. And there are three of these in the set. Um, there's only one problem, which is that the point of the orange doesn't come down to a, like a tip on the helmet. But as you can see, ordinary face. And if you actually look closely, you can see they've now added the holes to every single phase two clone trooper. And I just think that it looks a bit bulky, but here's a comparison. And it looks way better on the old one. And here's a front view. You can just see it makes it look much wider and the old one looks much sleeker and more movie realistic. So tell me in the comments. Which one do you prefer, the new one or the old one? And here is the clone gunner. I'm 
I'm happy with the printing. It makes me excited for a possibility of new style, um, just normal Phase 2 clone troopers. And here's a small comparison to the old version, and I think I do prefer the old version, unfortunately. Now it's time for a quick look at the set itself. This ATT looks really amazing. You can see the swivel turret at the top. Also, you can lift the front part out to reveal the cockpit seat and the controls, just like in the last one. And it's a nice feature. And if you swivel the set around, you can see at the back, it's a much sleeker de design than it was before in previous sets. And it all flows much more and it opens up in a different way. You can open up the sides as well to reveal the much larger interior. There are five seats in there. If I just lift it up, there are some controls, um, some weapon racks, and I really like that. And it's quite easy to put back together as well. And it looks really sleek and it's just really well designed. Also, this middle part lifts up. And unlike the last one, it actually has seats in there for two more clone troopers. And of course, this set has a carrying handle as most big play sets do. So you can carry it around where you want and it's very well designed. You know, I still think that I can improve this set. And one way is, well, dealing with this spider droid. Because in Utapau, you don't get spider droids. You get crab droids. So that's why I need to get rid of this. And I've made my own custom crab droid, which looks incredible. I mean, it's got the posable legs. It's got guns on the bottom, as you can see there. And it's just, it fits in so much better with the set. There's color differentiation. It's actually... Like, it's how it's meant to be in the film, and I don't know why LEGO didn't do that in the first place. So yeah. But overall, I'm very happy with this set, and I'll definitely recommend it. Obviously, it's not out in North America yet, and it's out of stock in the UK. But if you have the chance to get your hands on it, it's a definite buy. So thank you very much for watching my small review on both these sets. And I'm very happy with them. Great additions to my collection. And yes, I know the LEGO City is a mess. I have packets, plans, pens everywhere. But maybe I'll have another uh, City update coming soon. I don't know. Might want to make some changes in the future. Tidy up a little bit. But otherwise, that's all for today. Bye.